Hello everyone and welcome to the Three by the Sea Designs podcast. My name is Kim and I am one third of the Three by the Sea Designs team along with my sister Becky and my mom Dreema. We have an online Etsy shop where we sell our handmade project bags, stitch markers, and hand dyed yarn. And welcome to episode 15 of the podcast. That is so crazy that it has been 15 episodes already. Uh, we started this in January of this year. So it's exciting that it has grown as much as it has and we've made it all the way to episode 15. So uh, <laughs> things are a little different this time. I have a different sort of setup. I'm in a different room. Well, I was in this room last time. This is my new work room here at my house. And I've set up the camera a little bit differently as well. So I'm gonna try to always make sure I'm looking at the camera so I'm looking directly at you instead of looking around at all the other things going on. But you know, it's a new setup. So we'll see how it goes and you guys let me know if you like this setup, the lighting and everything, uh, I don't know that I'll always be here in this spot, but because this is typically where I'm going to be working on orders and packaging things up. So uh, I don't know that I'll always be able to have room to podcast here, but I do like this area as far as the lighting goes. So we shall see how it works. So today is Thursday, August 11th, and uh, this episode will go up on Friday the 12th. And uh, I can't believe it's August already. That is just crazy. Uh, we are in full-fledged, like, getting ready for fall and Halloween uh, as far as our shop goes. So again, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for checking it out. And I hope you enjoy the episode. And if you are returning to uh, this channel again for more craziness from me, um, thank you so much for coming back and for supporting our channel. And um, we appreciate and love all of you. And thank you so much for coming back. So let's talk about a little bit of shop news. Um, the Halloween countdown calendars are back in the shop. These are a 13 day stitch marker countdown calendar. It's a mystery. So you don't know what you're getting there. I'll pop a picture up of it. One of these sides so you can see it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It is a, the theme is called a spooky soiree and there is a story behind it. Uh, check out our Instagram page if you want to know all the details on that. But basically, um, each day you will open a little bag and inside will either be a, some type of notions or tool or uh, stitch marker. Actually, I think for this calendar, they are all stitch markers, aren't they? Yes, I think this one, it's the, it's the Christmas one that is the notions one, sorry. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, each day you will open a uh, little bag with a progress keeper or a stitch marker in it and there will be a clue inside that gives you more of the story that we set you up with at the beginning. And uh, it's going to be a fun sort of countdown to Halloween. The last day will be on Halloween where the mystery will be revealed if you haven't already figured it out from the clues in the story each day. So there, there are a few of those left in the shop. Um, we had them earlier in the summer and then we took them out and now they're uh, based on our numbers, we were able to add a few more in. So, um, Another exciting thing that we added in when we added the calendar back in is a mystery sock set to go with it. So if you already purchased the calendar and you want the um, skein of yarn to go with it, it's going to coordinate. So um, you can go on Etsy and order the yarn 
and we will combine your orders and send everything to you at the same time. Um, if you don't want the calendar and you just want the yarn, that's fine, you can do that. Um, just go on and order the yarn. It is a pre-order, so it won't come until like the beginning of October, probably end of September, beginning of October. And, uh, or if you want just the calendar, you can order that as well. So that's an exciting thing because back when we first started the Halloween calendar, when we first put it up, uh, we were not dyeing yarn yet. So we couldn't offer you a skein of yarn with it. Uh, but now that we are dyeing the yarn, um, we wanted to be able to offer that to you as well. And some of you have already taken advantage of that. And that will be a lot of fun. The yarn is amazing <laughs> for the sock set. It's going to be a 100 gram full skein of yarn, fingering weight, and a coordinating 20 gram mini to go with it. So, so much fun for that. Uh, we do still have our Christmas uh, stitch marker advent uh, calendars in the shop. There are two different ones. There's a 12 day countdown calendar and a 25 day like true advent calendar. And uh, the themes for these are um, an elegant Christmas where you will open uh, beautiful stitch markers and progress keepers that are not just Christmas themed. There's going to be some other, you know, regular stitch markers in there as well. And then our true advent, the full advent is, it, um, the theme is It's a Wonderful Life based on the classic movie. So uh, there are options for that one as well. The project bag option for that one sold out, but we do still have the yarn option for that one. So you can get the calendar and um, coordinating um, yarn set as well. So those are still in the shop if you're looking for a fun, uh, a, an alternative way to celebrate the Christmas season and Advent. Um, if you don't necessarily want to get a yarn Advent calendar um, and you want to stock up on some stitch markers and progress keepers, that is a great way and a fun way of having something to open each day in December. What else? Sorry, I keep looking at my notes. Uh, let's see. Starting tomorrow, which is Friday, we are going to be clearancing out some of our things in the shop. So there are some stitch markers, uh, progress keepers, notions types things in the shop that we want to clearance out to uh, uh, help get ready for the next season, fall, and Halloween. So we are going to be moving some things to our clearance section of our Etsy shop. It's, a, it's its own section called clearance. And also uh, as a fun way to uh, just sort of end out the summer season, we are going to, um, anyone who purchases an order of $10 or more will get a mystery grab bag, a small mystery grab bag that will have four to six stitch markers in it that will just be random things. It could be any holiday, it could be just non-holiday, it could be anything. So um, it's just a fun little way to add to your stitch marker progress keeper collection or to use them as gifts for people. Uh, if you have a preference on clasps or anything, just let us know. You can leave us a, a note on the order. So that will be starting tomorrow. Uh, so check out our clearance section, see what we've moved over to clearance. We discount our um, sets heavily for clearance. And, but once they're gone, they're gone. And uh, we only do that for things that haven't sold out in the shop yet. So um, check out the clearance section. And also if, again, if you order $10 or more, you will get a little mystery grab bag to go with your order. Okay, what else? Sorry, it's a lot of shop news this time. I can't believe it's been a month since I podcast. That's crazy. I was just looking. Well, no, it hasn't been a month. Let's see. It's been it's been like three weeks since I podcast. Just because it's been so crazy busy. Um, 
what else? Oh, speaking of Etsy. So, you know, the post office is, it is what it is, right? Um, most of the time, I would say 99% of the time, our packages that we ship through the post office get to where they need to go and there's no issues. But every once in a while, there will be a lost package or something happens to it and it's delayed and inevitably you don't get your package. Now, we have tried our best in the past to, as a courtesy to you, replace things if we can. Some things are not replaceable because they've sold out and we don't have them anymore. Or um, it was something that was too expensive for us to replace, that type of thing. Uh, we do our best, absolute best, to work with all of our customers because we understand that frustration. So what we're going to start doing is um, offering an, a, a listing on Etsy where you can purchase insurance. As of right now, you get free shipping on Etsy if you uh, purchase $35 or more from our shop. You know, Etsy sort of forces us to do that. We, um, it's not really affordable for us to offer free insurance, or free, free shipping. However, um, while we're still on Etsy, until we have uh, gotten our website all the way finished, uh, we, which will be this year, <laughs> hopefully, um, um, we have to offer the free shipping. However, you can still purchase insurance for your package, even though you're getting the free um, shipping. So what we're going to do is offer a listing where it's just the, sh the insurance, and it's not expensive at all. I think we said orders up to a hundred dollars your sh your insurance is only going to be a dollar fifteen orders from a hundred to two hundred dollars the uh insurance is two dollars and five cents so it's a way for you to ensure that you um if your package is lost or damaged or whatever um you can still get a refund for the, that because I mean, we feel bad not being able to refund or replace packages, but we are a small three-woman show. <laughs> Unfortunately, like places like Amazon and Target, you know, they can replace packages with no issues, but some of our stuff is not replaceable. So um, we are going to start offering the insurance as um just a backup for you in case that happens. We were trying to figure out what to do about that situation. And again, this has happened like in the five years we've been in business, this has maybe happened a, a handful of times, maybe three, four times. So in the grand scheme of things, it's it doesn't happen that often. And overall, I think the post office does a pretty good job of getting things where they need to be. But, um, you know, if you, spend $150 on, on something, um, it might be a good idea to make sure that, you know, because we don't, we don't have a way of really be, it being totally secure unless you buy the insurance. So enough about that. Let's talk about something else. Get a drink. I have my iced coffee in my Florida Tourist tumbler. <laughs> it's really hot here. It's like the last few days it's been, well, really the last couple of weeks, it's been like 95, 98. And with the humidity, oh, it's horrible, horrible. So I've been staying inside and drinking all the cold things that I can. I will have one cup of hot coffee in the mornings. And then the rest of the day right now, I just haven't been able to have anything hot. One more thing for shop news, our fall collection does come out on August 27th, that is a Saturday. And next week we will have a special podcast episode for a uh, preview of the update that will show um, project bags that we will have, the yarn, 
and stitch markers and progress keepers that we are adding all into the shop for our fall collection on Saturday, August 27th. So be on the lookout next week for a special sneak peek preview episode of the fall stuff. The seashells knit along that uh, we are hosting with Amanda from Dog Mom Knits is still going on until September 5th. Uh, it has been so fun to see all of your projects that you're working on. I'm gonna post a few pictures of them up here that I took from Instagram. And um, to show you, there's been some finished objects. There have been a lot of work in progress and it has been a lot of fun watching you guys knit the seashells sea on the seashore socks by Amanda. And um, in any yarn, it's been beautiful, <laughs> but um, we've loved seeing you use our yarn, the seashells, sea, she sells seashells yarn that we came out with in June. So keep working on your socks or whatever project you're working on for that knit along and make sure you are posting your pictures on Instagram and Ravelry and make sure you post um, the finished object as well so you can be eligible for prizes. And speaking of prizes, while I'm show while we're talking about the knit along, I want to show you um, the prize that we have for this is for the Instagram um, drawing. So all you have to do to enter on the Instagram side of things is to post a picture, use the hashtag seashellscal22. I'll put a, um, I'll put it up here so you can see what it is and you'll be entered to win, um, this prize from us. So this is from our new fall collection. This is the only one you get to see today. This is a sock set and it will come with um, a full 100 gram skein as well as the two 20 gram minis. And this is just perfect for making some fall socks. So it has reds and browns and golds and orange and even a little bit of teal in there. Some green. It's just gorgeous. Perfect for fall. Um, so you're going to get this sock set. And you will get a two-piece. Oh, let's see if I can do this. A two-piece collection. Oh, come on, show it. There we go. It is a squirrel and an acorn. A two-piece uh, stitch marker. Progress Keeper set. You get these two things um, as your prize for in the Instagram part of it. Um, Amanda is going to be giving away a project bag and I think she said a stitch marker set and maybe some yarn. She said she's not exactly sure yet. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for being a part of the Seashells Knit Along for this year. We've had a lot of fun. Yesterday we did an Instagram Live and on I think, sh I think the 23rd we are doing a YouTube Live on Amanda's channel, which is Dog Mom Knits. So make sure you go check out her channel and subscribe to it as well because we will be live at 7 p.m. on that day. So let's move on to finished objects. I have one pair of socks to show you that are finished and they are what I, what did I call these? Like my summer vibes socks, I think, because that was the name of the yarn. Yeah. So, uh, so many of you have participated in summer sock camp with the crazy sock lady and I did as well. I've made, this is my fourth pair of socks for the summer and it will probably be my final socks as far as go, that goes for summer sock camp. These, oh, they're so pretty. I love how they turned out. So I call these my summer vibes shorties. because that is the name of the yarn. So um, 
the last time I showed them, I think I was on the second one and I was oh, almost finished, I think. So this is what the yarn looks like caked up. I have so much of it left too. So I got to do something fun with the rest of this. I, and, well, oh, and for the, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. This was the main color, uh, yarn. This was summer vibes. Hopefully you can read that colorway summer vibes. Um, and it was a, Fingering weight yarn. It was 85% superwash Pullworth, 15% nylon. And Siobhan's Crafts is... Can you see that? Why is it not focusing? There we go. I hate that I have to hold my hand up, but I do. Normally, I do not have the camera facing me because I... Always, I'm looking too many places, but today I decided to try that. So <laughs> that's why I'm having issues. Um, so for the uh, contrast color for the heels, I used one of my Row One Minis in this really fun yellow, bright yellow color. And that was from, the dyer is Super Fine Yarn Co. And the colorway is mellow and that was one of my row one minis for my row one subscription i'll talk more about that in a little while so i just really love how they turned out i thought they turned out so pretty i love the brightness i love how it's sort of striped um especially on the toe i thought that was cute but i love the big chunk like chunky stripes and i did the um Butterfly Heel by Kay Jones. I use that heel a lot. And these, I think these were the ones that I cast on 68 stitches. I did a two by two ribbing for 10 rounds. And then I did 10 rounds on the leg and then the butterfly heel. And then on the foot, I did 60 rounds and then just a regular rounded toe. So, these will be so fun to wear over the summer. And all of the socks that I made this year for Summer Sock Camp were shorties. Um, let me do a recap for you. These were my first pair that I finished. This was the String of Lights pattern by Sock Witchery. I showed these on an episode, a few episodes back. And then I finished these shorties. These were the Yarnable um, Avocado Avocardio colorway. It was the yarn, and I just did a plain vanilla shorty. These were super shorties because I only did I think five rounds for the um, cuff. And then I did a pair of DK shorties. This yarn was um, Desert Vista Dye Works in The Handmaid's Tale. So pretty. So those are my four pairs for Summer Sock Camp. All shorties, let me take these off with the blockers now. All shorties and um, I'm glad that I did it that way because over the summer, I mean, really in Florida, you need a shorter sock, unless it's like winter time and in January for about, I don't know, January and February get pretty cold here for us by our standards anyway. So there, there's like a good six week period where you really need those long socks. Um, and then the whole rest of the year, shorties will work. <laughs> so, I decided that I was going to start making a lot more shorties. And so what better way than summer sock camp to start making them. So that is my one finished object for this time. Let's talk about some whips. I have one, two, three, I have four whips. 
three of them are socks, of course. Eventually, I'd like to have just one pair of socks on the needles at a time. I think I way, way overestimated my abilities when in the beginning of summer when I talked about how many socks I was going to finish. I mean, I think I caked up like, I don't know, 10 skeins of yarn. And I was like, I'm going to make all of these. No, that didn't happen. And that's okay. It's okay to have goals. And I will still make them, just not over the summer. Um, but I would like to get to the point where I only have one pair of socks on the needles at the most two because I could do like a gift pair and a me pair um and then as we're shifting into fall and winter I would like to have more garments and blankets type thing on the needles shawls uh that type of stuff um I've gotten to the point where I have so many socks that I don't really need to keep making them. Not that you need to do it because you need them, but you knit them because you love doing it and it's fun. So, I don't know. It just stresses me out to have too many whips at once. Some people can cast on all the whips and be totally fine with it. To me, it gives me anxiety and it makes me feel like I'm not accomplishing anything. I don't know. I'm, I don't want to be that way because I want to be able to cast things on and not care that they're lingering. But I feel like I have a threshold and once I hit that threshold and I go over it, it stresses me out too much. So uh, let's, well, let me show you what I have right now. It's really, it's really not that bad. <laughs> Only four things I'm going to show you. I showed these last time. These are in my Christmas bag that we had in the shop last year. That Becky gave me for Christmas. She made me one and gave it to me. But look how cute that print is. So uh, we did Christmas in July and we had a colorway called Christmas Island like this and I did finish one of the socks I'm just making a plain vanilla sh sort of shorty sock there's 30 rounds here instead of my usual 10 or none <laughs> for the leg but look how cute those turned out I love the heel with the sort of like chunkier stripes and then the heel the heel turn is so cute I love how it micro striped Becky said she thought these were the cutest socks so this is Christmas Island I have my um light bulb pins on here that um Kay from the crazy sock lady she showed everyone that method of every 10 rounds putting a light bulb pin so you can keep track of where you're at. I cast on 68 stitches for these because I used a size one needle, which is a 2.25 millimeter. So I wanted them to be a little bit bigger because 64 stitches on a size one needle for me is a little bit tight. So um, that's why I used, I did 68 stitches. And um, like I said, I did 30 rounds for the leg. I did a st uh, slip stitch, heel flap, and gusset. And then I think I did, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 rounds for the foot. And that's it. Plain vanilla. Just knit, knit, knit. This is what Christmas Island looks like on, D on a DK sock set. Beautiful colors. It comes with two 20 gram minis in Beach Hut and Lagoon. So that is available still in the shop. And we also have a visit 
with Saint, a visit from St. Nick in the shop. Ooh, look how pretty that looks on camera. This one was really hard to photograph. So if you're looking for some Christmas yarn, definitely check out the shop because we have a few of these left. So this was a visit from St. Nick with beautiful browns and golds, tan colors, reds, greens, gorgeous. And it came with Sprig and Enchanted. So we don't have any of them left on figuring weight. We, we will bring them back at Christmas time, but we do have them on DK still. The next one that I have to show you is uh, my seashells on the seashore socks that we are doing for our knit along. This is what the yarn looks like. This is our She Sells Seashells colorway. And this is how it is knitting up so far. using Amanda's seashells on the seashore pattern. I love this pattern. It's so fun to do. Her pattern is really cool. You can choose a few different options as, as she called it the choose your own adventure where um, this pattern section, there's different options that you can do as far as the positioning of it on your sock. So um, I chose down the middle for these, you can see that lace section, if I stretch it out, like once these are on the blockers or on your leg, you're really going to be able to see that pattern. And it's so fun to do on this yarn. Unfortunately, this one sold out in our shop, but we will bring it back later on. So I am just, I'm that far. I'm to the point now where I'm about to start the heel. And I'm thinking about doing the heel in the contrast color that we had with it, which was starfish. Oh, please don't get tangled up. Um, so I think I'm going to do the heels or the toes. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll do the toes in that, in this color. What are you stuck on in my bag? <laughs> so that will look really pretty with it. This was the mini that came with the um, seashells color. So that is my next whip. Um, be sure to check out Amanda's pattern. Um, this is the one that we're doing for the seashells cow, the knit along. And I have it in this cute project bag, little tropical bag. It's just a little sock sack type drawstring sock size bag that we used to have in the shop. Um, but we don't have them anymore. We have a different style. <laughs> so what else? My last sock whip that I'm working on is a test knit for um, Debbie Martin. She is a sock designer and she contacted us on Etsy and said she was designing a sock and wanted to use our yarn for her sock pattern. So we thought that was so fun. She wanted to use the seashells yarn. So we, uh, so she purchased the yarn and we sent it to her and we sent her two, two um, coordinating, well, the seashells color plus two other coordinating minis that go with it. So I'll pop a picture up here of what hers look like so far. They are amazing. So this pattern is called Under the Sea it's the Under the Sea Sock Collection, and it's really cool because there's several different um, charts that you can use. Um, I'll put a picture up of it, what it looks like here. I um, It's still in testing, so, we, so it's not released yet, but I will let everyone know when it is released. 
Um, I chose to do the fish, the fish chart because I wanted to make these for my son. Um, and I'm using all tonal colors that I've just pulled from my stash. And this is what it looks like so far. Look how cute that is. So this super bright green is from Twin Mommy Creations. This gray, sorry, my, my iPad keeps chiming. I'm gonna have to turn it off in a second. This dark gray charcoal color is from Moon Glow Yarn Co. As well as this um, sort of silver color in the background. And then this blue is a, I pulled it from my Row One Minis. Look at this super cute octopus, or I'm not, not octopus, this little squid progress keeper that I have on here that he's from our shop and we do have him available so I just really love it I love it love it love it it's a fun easy uh, I mean you do have a chart you know that you have to go by but there's a fish chart there's a seahorse chart there's a starfish chart and then she's combining all three. That's the picture that I showed. She's combining all three into a fourth chart. So there's going to be four different ways, four charts in the same pattern when it's all, when it's released, you can pick. So I just really love, love, love these. And I showed them to my son and he loves them. So I'm going to, I'm making them for him. Um, let me see if I can find out what that blue color was. Yes. This is the blue. I thought it was really pretty. And it's from Asylum Fibers. In the colorway Drink Me. These are the other two. This is Moon Glow Yarn Co. I don't think she named it. And then this is a mini from Twin Mommy Creations. And then the main, the main gray. This is also from Moon Glow Yarn Co. I just pulled everything from Stash because I wanted to, like, I wanted it to really stand out. That's why I used the tonals because I wanted the, the color work to really stand out. Okay, so my last work in progress is the Glacial Light Tea by Caitlin Hunter that I have been working on for the last couple of episodes. I have it in this giant project bag. This is our large zipper style project bag that we had in the shop over the summer. Hopefully it's focusing. This project bag pin is from Four Pearls. This is um, not our local yarn shop, but it's in Orlando, close to Orlando. So it's, it's not that far away from us, like 45 minutes or so. And let's see, is it focusing? So the yarn that I'm using is Emma's Yarn and um, I'm using four different colors. Let me turn this off my, my iPad. Turn down the volume. There we go. So I'm using four different colors and I'm, I'm on the last lace work section before um, I start the, the top of it. So this is where I'm at. Last time I showed it, I was, I had done five sections. So one, two, three, four, five. I had only gotten to, or I was here. So I've done two more since then, and I'm on the very last one. I was gonna do nine total, but I decided not to do the nine. I'm just gonna do the eight, just like the pattern calls for, eight stripes. And 
let's see, it's showing up, I think more blue on camera. It's definitely a very aqua color. Blue, aqua always shows up blue on camera for some reason, but I love the lace work. It's so pretty and it's fun to do. I guess Finley decided to come in here. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I'm really enjoying it. This, I, I don't, I've done lace work before, like on shawls, but I don't know if I've ever done this amount of lace work and I am loving it. So the top section, so this will come, this is supposed to come, let's see. This is supposed to come probably right around like, I would say maybe here. And then this top section is going to be all one color. And it's going to be this gorgeous teal color. So it'll be like that on the top. So I have one more, I'm, I'm on the last section, which is this color. And um, that'll go here. And then this teal color is going to be the top. And it's all one color at the top. So I just really love it. The other three colors, I'll show you. This is the one I'm using now. These are all by Emma's Yarn. These three together. They're getting kind of washed out. This is what her yarn label looks like. So that is where I'm at with my tea. Sorry, that was a big, long explanation. <laughs> um, I really am enjoying this, this garment, probably more than I have ever enjoyed any other. I mean, I haven't made that many garments, but I'm definitely enjoying it more than I ever have. And I don't know if it's the lace work or, I mean, it's got to be because of all the lace and, and the colors too. The color changes are really fun. So I'm really excited about this. And hopefully next time I'll have a lot more done. For fall, I or for Halloween actually, I, I've had this yarn for a couple of years now. My mom gave it to me and I want to make some socks with it. I've been wanting to do socks with it for the last couple of years. So I am bound and determined for my future plans to knit a pair of socks with this colorway. Let me know if you have any pattern suggestions for this. Something squishy for um, fall because they'll be long and they'll be out for Halloween time. So hopefully it'll be a little bit cooler outside. Um, so something squishy. I do have other future plans. Let me show you the yarn. Okay, so I showed this yarn to you. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I showed you this yarn uh, a couple of months ago, like probably back in March or April. I had dyed this yarn probably closer to April. I don't know if you can see the Stellina. Oh yeah, there's gold Stellina in it. And it's like a beautiful sage green. I think this should be a colorway in the shop. Don't you guys think? It's gorgeous. And it looks like hazel to me because it reminds me of the color of my eyes. <laughs> so I was thinking this would be such a pretty sweater or top 
actually I don't want a, t a sweater but but because I'm gonna hold it double with this Surrey alpaca that's actually in the same why is my iPad still going off do I need to turn it off I don't even know how to turn it off. Slide to power off. There you go. Shush. Ugh. Okay, where was I? So I'm I'm gonna hold this double. This is dyed in the same color way. It's kind of getting blown out there. Yeah. So I want to hold it double. Um, and I want to make some kind of top with it. Probably short sleeves. Um, so does, does anybody have any suggestions also? <laughs> I was thinking about the ranunculus or the love notes top because those I think both of those are short sleeves. Um, and I know but those have been really popular and people have been loving them fluff so I don't know I don't think I'll need three of these but actually when you hold it double you probably will so I just love this color it's so pretty and on that gold Stellina sparkle wouldn't this be pretty a pretty colorway for um our Christmas update I love it like a sage, a light sage green. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make something with that for sure. After I finish the glacial light tea, I'm making something with these. So that's my future plans. Um, next cast ons. Oh, there's another thing that I want to cast on that is a crochet project. I found, I'll put a picture of, up of it here. I found this adorable bag and um, it uses, I don't know if they're granny squares, but it uses squares, crochet squares, and you crochet them all together to make this bag. Um, I want to make this. I put the picture up for you. <laughs> I want to make that. So I'm going to buy the pattern and attempt to make that. I have no idea what yarn I'll use. I don't even know what kind of yarn it calls for, like what weight or anything. But I really, really, really want to make that bag. Probably multicolored like that bag is, but I'm not opposed to it being like chunks of colors or blocks, blocks of colors, squares. I don't know. I just think it's really pretty and I would love to try. I haven't done a crochet project in a while, so I thought that would be fun to do. There's a designer that I came across on Instagram. I think her name is Emily Wood Designs uh, on Instagram. <laughs> I'll put a picture up of it. And she has this shawl and it's called the Waves and Beads Shawl. It is gorgeous. I really like her designs. I've never, seen any of her stuff before. Um, her patterns are available on Ravelry, Payhip, and Lovecrafts. And I'm thinking about making that waves and beads shawl. So that could be a future cast on future plans as well. Um, I really like the, the design of it. And with the beads, it looks so, so pretty. So that is also in my future plans. Check out her Instagram page too because she has lots of different shawl patterns. I think she has other stuff too, but um, I noticed she does, I think, more shawls than anything else. Okay, so I have some Happy Meal to show you, and I haven't even opened two of these packages, so it's gonna be a true unboxing. Um, the first is from Yarnable, my Yarnable subscription. Normally it comes in a box, but she has switched over to bags. Um, I think for because of supply issues. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open this so it's not crinkly and then I will reveal 
it to you. Let me grab my scissors. So the Honorable subscription is a monthly thing that I've been getting for uh, a year and a half now, pretty much. It is by Hypnotic Yarn, and it's a skein of yarn every month along with extra goodies. So the extra goodies looks like this. It always comes in this little organza bag with a card. So for August 2022, this is called Straighten Your Crown. It's brought to you by Tropical Fruit Salad, Suntan Lotion, and Lazy Weekends at the Beach. The extras are a popsicle soap from the Grecian Soap Company, hot and cold eye pads from Prep Obsessed, and pineapple wool wash by Soak. Every month it comes with this scratch off that you can use in Cheryl's shop for that month. So this is the goat's milk soap in the pineapple scent. That is so cool. I bet it smells so good. This is the pineapple scented soak for it's like a wool wash and these are eye, hot and cold eye pads reduces puffiness and relieves tension it says and here is the yarn i haven't even seen this yet i'm so excited oh oh my gosh it is so cool. It's called Straighten Your Crown. Different like color, depths of shade of yellow. And then this really fun pop of green. This is going to be fun to knit. Oh my gosh. I got to pull this out and see what it looks like. Look at that. Oh, this is gonna be so, so fun. So there's this section of green and then the rest is different yellows. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with this. Now this base is her 8515 Superwash Merino Nylon base. I don't know if that's showing up or not. But this is going to be so fun to knit. And this would actually make a really fun pair of socks, but I don't know that I'll use it for that. I don't know. <laughs> Look how pretty that looks, though. The next one is another subscription box from, this is from Avery Lane Creations. This is a monthly subscription that I've been getting for I don't know, four or five months now. Nikki is the dyer's name. And the theme for this one is Groovy 60s. This is for July. Groovy 60s. It says July's yarn colorway is brought to you by some of the groovy colors that you would find back in the 1960s. Bright, swirling colors and psychedelic t-shirts were just a few of the fashion trends. I feel like that era, all bets were off and anything was cool. So the extra goodies are the Rainbow Cheetah Hook Minder set from Loops and Bees, the Notions Bag from Threaded Pear, and the Earl Grey Tea. And then, of course, it comes with the yarn. So this is the... Hook Minder set from Loops and Bees. Sorry for the glare. So I guess you attach that to your, um, uh, you attach it to your project so you know which hook size you're using. That's kind of cool. I'm assuming that's what that is. Like for your crochet hook. Yes, you would attach it to your project and in whatever letter um, you're using for your hook size. And then it came with some tea. 
And then it came with this cute little project bag, or you could use it as a notions bag. This is from the Threaded Prepare. That's cute. And then the yarn, the colorway is called Is Groovy Still Cool? Ooh, look at that. So pretty. Purple is my favorite color. And I get this subscription in DK weight. So it is a 85 Superwash Merino wool, 15% nylon DK weight. And that's her logo. So I've been collecting these DK skeins for a few months now. I want to do something with them. I just, I need to get them all out and see if they could work in a project together, some kind of DK project. So that was my second subscription. And then I have one more, which is my row one minis for this month. And I haven't opened these. The row one subscription is a minis subscription that comes like this every month. It comes with 10, 10 gram minis. And they are a different yarn dyer, a different indie dyer every month. And it's a great way for you to see other dyers. It's a great way for you to um, get a sample of that dyer's yarn and see if you like their aesthetic, like their color choices. Whew, these are amazing. And they come all skeined up for you, wound in these little tiny things that are ready to use. Oh my goodness, some of these colors are my colors. So, and then it also comes with this little information pouch. It always comes with a little progress keeper or stitch marker and um, she usually puts some kind of little candies in there and then the paper that tells you about that dyer. This month the Car Carnival of Color Club from Row One Yarn brings you 100 grams of Robusta from Pearls Before Wine House Blends by Pearl. Robusta is a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, fingering weight, and comes 463 yards to 100 grams. So then it goes on to tell you a little bit about the dyer. Um, this person is in Washington. Pearls Before Wine is the house line of hand-dyed yarn from Pearl 2, a yarn shop located in beautiful downtown Walla Walla, Washington with a focus on regional and indie dyed yarns. So they're a yarn shop and they also have their own line of hand dyed yarn. So it tells you a little bit about them and then it tells you um, all the different colorway names and their website, how you can get a hold of them. And it's just a fun way of collecting minis, seeing new dyers. Like I would have never known about this dyer otherwise. So let me open this. This one's called Bridgerton House. Oh, come on, focus. Bridgerton House. Out of the Woods. That one's really pretty. Storm. The Spruce Goose. <laughs> so you see these teeny tiny little minis, Bellinis at brunch. It's just a fun way of, of collecting minis. Sorry for all the crinkling. Lavender Latte, that is really cool. Filler Flowers. Oh, this one's pretty. Dirty Chai. Viognier, Viognier. Beautiful. And oat milk latte. 
So these would be so pretty together. And I love that also how they pick colors that you can use all together in a project. Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady is using her Rowan Minis to make a granny square blanket. And it is gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I'm so inspired by it. I really want to, I think that's what like just inspired me to do a crochet project again. So, and then I just put them back in this bag and I keep them in here. And then I throw this bag into a container with all of my Rowan minis. Um, but if you, if for some reason you want to put them all, you know, together in a basket, it tells you the name of the dyer on here. So you always know the name of the dyer and the colorway name, which is really cool if you wanted to use all of the same ones from that particular dyer in a project. So that's all the Happy Meal I have. That was fun. <laughs> So I think that's it for this episode. Uh, make sure to check out our sale, our clearance sale that we're having in the shop starting on Friday the 12th. And uh, next week, be on the lookout for our fall collection preview. And what else? We'll do a special like sneak peek preview episode for that. I don't think there's anything else. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything, um, you can uh, leave a comment down below and or just say hi. And um, if you need to get a hold of us, any of the um, ways that you can are Instagram, Etsy, here on YouTube. All of our contact information is down below in the description box. And links to anything that I talked about today uh, will be available in the description box as well. So thank you so much. I hope this isn't too long of an episode, uh, but thank you so much for watching. And uh, we will see you again next week for our fall preview. So have a great week and I will see you soon. Thanks. three by the sea oh okay let's start over <laughs> hello everyone <laughs> oh, okay I'm so not used to doing things like this so all you have to do is post a picture of your um, work that of, of the knit along using you bleh. why can't I talk today <laughs>